Hi guys, Kendia here with Simply Kendia. I'm back to share this fun journal with you that I made. Um, it's made with an antique book cover and used binder rings for it because the spine was too far damaged to be able to keep. I sealed it with Mod Podge to um, keep it from deteriorating more, to help keep it from deteriorating more. Put this book um, plate on the front with this cute little piece of paper behind it and you can write or stamp something. I left it blank so that you could put what you wanted in here. It's beautiful inside this marbling paper. That was the original paper. I just left it because it's so pretty. I have a vintage playing card clipped on here. And that's Tim Holtz paper. And then um, every other page is this plain paper. So and then pocket here with some journaling cards in it so we'll and then I use all the papers all the cutoffs I um, sewed together to make a larger paper piece of paper and I thought that was a fun idea I'm not sure if somebody else has done it before but I just kind of thought of it my you know that it would be cute and I like the way it turned out Used, so I didn't waste any pieces of paper with this. I used all my scraps. There's another tuck spa or pocket. Another one of the stone pages. So a lot of with similar papers. I have three envelopes in here and in each envelope is the vintage score pads for games. This one's really aged up on the back. Look at the beauty of that. So you can journal, use those to journal on. Another playing card. Another pocket. Another sewn page. Flip through this fast because they're all similar pages. I left it kind of plain so that it can be used for journaling. Another stone page there. Envelope with the score sheets in it. Another pocket. Another stone page. Another of the vintage playing cards. But the colors just of the playing cards just went really well with the colors that I kind of did in the book. Some reds and browns and greens. Another pocket. And in the last one, I also put my Simply Candia card in there. And this is vintage fabric that I picked up at an antique store that's been was used cut up in strips to make ribbon with. Another pocket, another sewn page, and we're at the end of the journal. And then on the back page, it has one of those book um, plate things. It says from the books of Robinson Company. So I thought that was fun too. So I left that there. So that is this journal. It's a nice, thick journal, and it has plenty of room to grow. So you can add lots of ephemera goodies as you use it so i hope you guys enjoy and i will see you next time bye